Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And you guys have been requesting a Dollar Tree DIY. So we're going to go ahead and do another one here. So let me show you what I have. This is actually going to be an upcycle as well. I had one of these candles that were from, like, I believe it was probably Walmart for like four bucks. And the candles I'll use, so I stuck it in the um, freezer, picked out all of the extra wax, and then cleaned it all out. So I've got this nice little guy here. Then at the Dollar Tree, I picked up one of these um, scented oil diffusers. And I had these little guys, which also come from the Dollar Tree. I'll take it out. It's a two-pack, but we're only going to be using one, and it is a tea light holder. I also have some uh, leftover nautical rope, some burlap ribbon. Of course, I have my Arteza ink, which is going to be, it's actually acrylic. And then, you guys, I have this awesome little palette here, and I'm going to show you how cool it is. So, you just open it like this, and then these pieces, my fingers are getting, there we go. I was going to say my fingernails get in the way. Look how cool that is. So you guys are always telling me, save your ink, save your ink. So I can actually um, use this because the Arteza is so thick. It'll stay in there. Um, but these are also for watercolors. And oh my gosh, I was just so excited to be able to get one of these. So this came from uh, shysart.com. So she gave me this actually. And she is one of the beauties, and I thought this was really cool. So thank you. And let's go ahead and get these. And then I got so excited about this, I stopped saying. And then I'm just going to use some of these cosmetic wedges. And I'll just grab one, possibly two of those. But we'll see later on down the line. And then I'm going to use this um, cold gray color here. And then I think I'm going to go with maybe just a, uh, let's see, a burnt umber color or a Mars brown. Ah, uh, hmm. I think we'll go with the Mars brown and see how that goes. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And I've been, I go through different things that I want to, like do for crafts and whatnot. So all my DIYs, sometimes my DIYs are to make cards and sometimes they are to um, paint with the, the paints. And I'm really kind of getting into that painting with the paints right now. So I need very little of this brown. And I'm gonna use the same, I'm gonna use a little bit of this gray a little bit more and then I'm going to put some here as well to mix that up and I think I probably have more than enough but we'll see and then the cool thing is is I could close this up if I'm not going to use it right now and it's nice so I actually think I will do that because I'm only going to be using these two pieces so I'm going to move that I don't want to close it now because that ink will get on here I think the ink kind of stays in these wells down here for the most part. So I'm going to move this out of the way for the time being because we're going to work on this other stuff here. And I do have a hot glue gun and it's all heated up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to um, go ahead and load up this hot glue gun with another stick there. We're gonna take this guy and do what I like to do best, and that's flip that little guy right upside down. So I am going to go ahead and be quite generous with this hot glue there. And I'm going to actually flip this guy upside down because I really want to get this centered on here. And 
and push that right down. And then while I have this under, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this rope, uh, this twine rope here. And I really want this to be um, quite nautical. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to stick this guy right in here and work it around. And then I'm going to move it up here. We'll put a little bit more of this on top. And you can see I'm only doing a little bit of the um, hot glue because it's just going to go around. And I just put a little bit here and there. I was just going to give it a nice little um, holder, and it's going to look like rope, but really it's being held on by this nice glass there. And we will go all the way around. Is it the craziest thing? I know you guys can hear my voice. It, I don't know. I have to go check with the doctor, see what's going on, because... I'm like, I wonder if I have some kind of issue with my throat. But, um, actually I was with somebody whose voice went a little hoarse. And now my voice is getting hoarse. So I wonder if she just passed it along to me. I don't know how that would happen, but, you know, it's possible. So I'm going to go around here again. I'm not worrying about, um, there we go. I'm not worrying about the, uh, the sides here, but I am going to make sure that there is some nice glue because I am going to go inside and make it a little bit flat on here. I do want it to sit nice and flat but I do also want it to have that nautical I don't want any of the you know the glass part showing on here and I have enough that I could wrap around quite easily so I'm gonna go ahead and do that And I'm just going to make sure that it is nice and flat so it sits flat there. There we go. And then I'm going to just take some scissors here. Whoa, I almost got myself... <laughs> And I'm going to put just a little bit more glue on this edge here and stick that in and make it nice and flat again. Okay, so now we have the flat. We've got, see there, very cute. And then I think I have enough just to go right around here. And I do. So I'm going to go ahead and just go all the way around here.
I'm going to get these guys out one more time. Put those two together. And you really can't tell when you get them nice and close. I mean, you can a little bit, but not too bad. And then if you want to, you can um, cut off the little edges or you can burn them off, whatever you'd like. So we've got that and we've got that. Now it's time to prepare our shell. Where'd our shell go? So we were going nautical and we have this guy. And for me, I know I could just buy a shell if I wanted to, but I don't. <laughs> I don't want to. So I'm just going to get in there with my really tough craft scissors and I'm going to pop these guys off. And it'll come right off if you if you want it to, but I want it to have a nice flat finish. And then guys, I didn't do anything with this, so you could still use it if you wanted to. I don't know how the little thing works, but if you wanted to still use it, you can, because this is only decoration. And I don't want it to be silver. I want it to have more of, um, like I said, a little bit of a nautical. So I'm going to go ahead and dip this little guy right in here. And this was one of the tips from you guys to use these brushes. So thank you. You guys always inspire me, which is so cool. So I was going to do like a, a kind of sandy white, but I want this to kind of go with my bathroom which is kind of blue, if you guys remember. Um, so I think this this gray works really well. And like I said, you guys, I always dote on the Arteza because look at how great this is col coloring with just one um, application. I'm not going back over, having to go multiple times. I am having to get in there, but you guys, whoever gave me the tip on using this sponge, it's awesome. So thank you guys. And I think it was, it was multiple. It wasn't just one of you. So this is taking a little bit longer than I expected. I'm going to grab a little bit more here on this side, but that's because I really want to get rid of that silver that's deep down in those little crevices but now we've got that color and I'm going to take this and kind of blend the two together and really lighten it and then I'm just gonna kind of put some like this just a little bit here and there I love it. Look at that. How pretty is that? So there we go. And we've got that taken care of. We're just going to set that aside, let it dry. And then we've got this guy. And I could clean it out really quick um, with a baby wipe if I wanted to. Just grab that out of there. And you guys, don't worry about your palette's getting all gross because that's how you know you've been working on art. So look how easy that cleaned up. And now it's ready. And look, it's compact. You guys, this is so cool. And she makes little mini ones too. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to doll this up with some uh, ribbon here. And it is the burlap ribbon, which you guys know I love because it gives just a little bit of, um, I don't know, what would, what do you call it? It gives just a little bit of the, the girliness, right? So I'm just going to measure that out 
a little bit longer than the width around. And we're going to come back here to our glue gun again. And I'm going to put some right on here. And you guys, I've learned I'm putting it there. That way I have a piece to hold. And then I'm going to see what side I want to be the front. That way I could hold this right here. And it'll go <laughs> without me having to touch it. And I'm going to put a little bit more, not as much, just enough to hold it there. And I want that. I think the, the uh, shell will cover it just fine, but we'll see. And then I'm going to pull this guy down as well. All right, so now I have this backing here. You can totally see the glue coming through on this end, but I'm okay with it. This guy is completely cool. Um, not cool, but uh, dry. So I am going to stick this here. I'm going to put enough. And then I'm going to dab it down so I could see where that glue is. That way I can put enough glue. And since there's a lot, it's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go around the edges here, kind of on the inside, so that it really sticks on there. Watch your fingers, of course. I'll put a little bit here and a little bit here again. And then we're going to stick that right on there. Oh my goodness, this is super cute. And look at how cute that is. You can put cotton balls in here. You can put um, Q-tips and so many cute things. I got extra glue, so I'm just going to clean that right up because it comes off that glass so easily. And if you want it to really, really stick, um, you could use the E6000 as well. But I haven't had any problems. But again, I don't have little ones running around grabbing stuff all the time. So... All right, you guys, look how cute that came out. If you like this, please give me a big thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see more uh, DIYs or any of the videos that I'm going to be making. Because guess what? I'm home all month. And then I'll put a link down below if you guys wanted to get some of this great Arteza ink. Look at all those colors. And I will also put a link down below for this guy if you wanted to grab one of these so all right beauties i plan on crafting while i'm home so i will see more and more and more of you and that's it i'll talk to you later bye